Welcome back. It's perhaps the best example of the perfect balance of Stan the Man Musial of his 3,630 career hits. 1,815 were at home and 1,815 were on the road. Yeah, Audrey, but there's another fun filled fact about Stan the Man you probably don't know. I sat down with Frank Viverito of the St. Louis Sports Commission, a local sports history extraordinaire. We didn't just talk about the Cardinals, but revolutionary slew football. Yeah, slew football. The 1904 Olympics and the St. Louis NFL team that almost, but never was. The first thing that blew my mind. So the NFL, of course, as many would argue, should be in St. Louis. Yes. But I'm not talking about the Cardinals. I'm not no. talking about the Rams. No. There's another team that should be here. Yes. Explain. Well, that would be the Stallions and more correctly, the Purple Stallions. The Purple the Stallions? Purple Stallions. Why That's purple? Right. Well, because nobody else had purple in <laughs> St. Louis at the time. And, and we were in line to get the second of the NFL expansion teams when they ended up going to Charlotte and Jacksonville. And there were some internal uh, issues that caused us to, to lose the team and the Purple Stallions were never born. A lot of people know by now, at least I hope, that the 1904 Olympics were here in St. Louis, the yes. first modern day Olympics to be held in the United States. There's so many great aspects to those first Olympics here that we could talk about, but two in particular that, mm -hmm. that we both think are, are really neat. Yes. Well, I, I think the, the uh, idea that the uh, first African-American competitor of the Olympic Games and the first African-American medalist in the Olympics uh, occurred right here in St. Louis is very, very significant. And then something that everybody assumes uh, ha has been part of the Olympic Games forever. Mm -hmm. um, gold, silver, and bronze medals were given for the very first time in St. Louis. And in fact, they were an innovation of the 1904 Games. When I think about SLU, I think about, of course, their basketball history, uh -huh. their soccer dynasty. Uh -huh. uh, they're a very unique mascot. There's something else about SLU that I didn't know until you guys mm -hmm. told me yesterday. Yes in St. Louis back in 1906, there was an innovation introduced to the game of football by the football Billikens at the time, and it was something called the forward pass. <laughs> okay, the forward pass. A novel concept. A novel concept at the time was invented in, in St. Louis. Uh, uh, Eddie Kokums was the coach of the team, and the first forward pass in the history of football was thrown by SLU quarterback Bradbury Robinson. Growing up a Cardinals fan, I was not aware, aware of this about Stan Musial. Stan played 3,026 games, all for the Cardinals. And you know how often he was thrown out of a game? I do now. Tell him. Never. That's never, unbelievable. Never, ever. I, I get thrown out of the office all the time, okay? <laughs> and Stan played 3,026 games and was never ejected by an umpire. Uh, for arguing a call or, or, or for any other reason. Well, that's that just matter. it. That's re remarkable in so many ways because if you argue uh, a strike now, you get right. thrown out immediately. To us, he's the epitome of class and sportsmanship. That's where our Musial Awards came from. Exactly. And, and, and he's our guy. He's the man.